It's February, everyone. The month of love. Look, I even got my love tie on today. And I wanted to jump on here today to talk about loving your realtor. And when you're loving your realtor, then you are going to have a good experience. So when you're hiring a professional realtor to represent you and your best interests, one of the most important key components beyond the fancy brochures and the amazing, super sexy, cool video, high res photos, virtual tours, marketing pieces that are created, which hopefully, by the way, are made specifically exactly for your home. But the most important piece of this very detailed, very specific, very intentional process of showing your home, of selling your home, is not to just have a realtor who's going to be present at every single solitary showing, because that's just a non-negotiable for me when you hire me as your broker. But the seller should be confident that the representative has a distinct, precise, orchestrated home tour that is executed the same exact way almost every single solitary time you have a showing. Now, I would even challenge the brokers you interview by asking them how they show a home because there is a right way and a wrong way to show a home. And that's just a fact, Jack. So showing a home isn't just turning on the lights and the music and the fireplace and opening up the blinds. It's about opening and controlling the conversation with the buyers and the buyer's broker from the very moment they walk through the door. Pardon me. It's about creating intention from the start, um, conveying what they're going to see, how long they're going to be there, um, learning what their names are, and then repeating them throughout the showing. Um, I'm always going to give a quick little overview right at the front door to let them know what they're going to see, the most important features of the home. And then when we come across those features again, I bring them right back up to the forefront. I offer either cold bottled water or room temperature bottled water because our buyers want to stay hydrated while they're in the home, but also they have a choice of the cold or the room temperature. I think that that is just a nice little touch. Now, when showing a home in Colorado, there are a few things to consider. And the first thing that I always consider is to move slowly and don't leave anyone behind. There's a distinct flow to every single solitary hunt. So when I take a listing on, I'll go through a home eight times just to get the right flow because every home has a perfect flow to it. You just have to find it. And that's why I lead the tours throughout each home a very certain way. Now, high altitude is a part of just common life here in the Vale Valley. So for that re reason, considerations must be made. For instance, if a home has a upper level and a lower level and a main level, I'll always start on the main level and show the primary master suite and the office and the kitchen and the mug rooms and the outdoor spaces like the decks and the patios and the fire pits and the hot tubs and even which direction these outdoor spaces and windows are facing. And then I'll go upstairs and I'll show all those features. Return to the downs, uh, return to the main level and explain the downstairs before going downstairs. And then finish the tour downstairs. And so why do I always, 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 always do it this way? Well, because if you start on the main level and then go downstairs and then go to the third floor, our buyer from sea level who just walked up two stories ends up like, oh, whoa, whoa. And as they're trying to catch their breath as they fade in and out of euphoric unconsciousness, and as they're trying to recover and catch their breath, they may come to the realization right there in your home that this home isn't for them. So oh, look, throughout the tour, it's also important to talk about the home surroundings. Um, having continued conversations, I have continued conversations throughout the tour to learn more about their hobbies, um, what they love about the Colorado lifestyle, 
and how much time they expect to actually spend here in the Dental Valley, that opens doors to speak about the community and the amenities and to share my personal stories from the 18 years that I've been here. Now, look, notice I didn't mention I ask a lot of questions. That's what a lot of realtors do. They just pound out a whole bunch of questions and they sometimes really end up with an awkward answer. Um, and so if you have continued conversations, it allows them to share what's important to them. Here's an example. Instead of saying, do you have pets? I say, you know what? I actually have two golden retrievers. They are crazy hairy. But if I lived here in this very home, they would spend the majority of time out on that amazing sun-filled deck being lazy all day long. And that statement will trigger a response. And maybe that response is, oh, you know what? We don't have pets anymore. You know, Blackie, he died a couple of years ago. We miss him so very much. But it's a little easier to travel now. And so that's, that's a good thing. Or maybe they say, oh gosh, you know what? Our yellow lab would end up doing that same exact thing out on that deck. But in both cases, they actually could see their old dog and their present dog laying on your deck in your home. And that is a skill and a mindset that doesn't come naturally to many brokers. But the more you practice that skill, the more natural it becomes. And so that is how I try to create conversation. Now, remember how I told you that I finished the tour downstairs? I show all the outdoor spaces and patios downstairs, the yard, um, any water features or anything like that, of course, and I explain how that all works. But at the end, I will say thank you so much for letting me to, uh, uh, give you the grand tour here. Um, I'm going to step upstairs and I'll either be by the front door if it's, uh, if it's wintertime and it's cold outside, or I'll be out in the front yard. Um, I have a couple of text messages to make anyway. This way, they have some privacy to speak with their broker and um, amongst each other. And I invite them to go around and explore the house again. And when they are all done, um, I always conclude all showings by a, another sincere thank you. And I invite him back for a second look over the next day or two after them seeing all the properties that they saw. And if we were to make their short list, we would want them to come back for a second look. Now, look, um, I could talk about how I show houses and how I hold open houses and how I represent my sellers with the utmost professionalism on every single solitary level. But more importantly, I welcome your questions. Um, I would love to connect with you to discuss your real estate goals. And I would love connecting with you to just discuss the value of your home. I work hard to differentiate myself from the other brokers. And you know, I enjoy the power of video to create relevant information that is everything about real estate and also the awesome lifestyle here in Vail. So feel free to hit the subscribe button. My email address is right here as well. And if you email me, I'll send you a really cool document that has been created custom that is favorites and go-to guide for the best experiences that the Bale Valley has to offer. And we spent a great deal of time creating this thing and it really looks great. It's a beautiful professional um, uh, finished product that you can even pass off to your friends. So I can easily email that to you in a flash. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I want you all to have a great day and I hope you treat all of your loved ones incredibly special on this Valentine's Day. I look forward to serving you and have a great, great month of February.